and it's gone on far too long. Homelessness shouldn't exist. Let me repeat that. Homelessness shouldn't exist in the so in the so-called richest and most powerful nation on earth. And yet, it allows veterans who fight its wars to come back with traumatic brain injuries, PTSD, and other mental and physical issues to sleep on sidewalks, in subway stations, and in alleyways. Why does, why does this country cater to the rich while allowing working class men and women who work multiple jobs with long hours live in places that are unfit for humanity? Why do they allow children to sleep in cars with their parents, in graveyards, under bridges, and at times have to sacrifice their dignity to survive? Nelson Mandela said, there can be no keener revelation of a society's soul than the way it treats its children, then maybe this country has lost its soul. Why are those dealing with substance abuse on the streets are treated, in less than, are treated as less than human? They are looked at as lepers. Fingers are pointed and judgments made instead of, and judgments made. Instead of helping the homeless, they are criminalized, abused, and arrested, and preyed upon by bullies and marginalized. And when we die in the street, there is no funeral, no one to mourn. We, put, we are put in wooden boxes, buried and forgotten. My hero, Dr. King, once said, an ed edifice that produces beggars needs restructuring. Yes, it does. We need to change the narrative. We need to organize, empower, and educate ourselves. Nearly 30 years ago, we the homeless created a newspaper. We lifted up our own voices, told our own stories. We realized that no one is coming to save us. We need to save ourselves. We did that. We got tired of the judgment. We got tired of being portrayed as liars, drunks, and thieves. We got tired of losing our children. <coughs> to a state, to the state that, who did nothing to help us keep them. We got tired of the ruling class who designed a shelter industrial complex that in turn has done everything in its power to keep us down and divided. We proved by our own example that homeless people with the proper resources can change things for ourselves. I'm asked all the time, James, when are you going to stop preaching about the homeless and just go away. First of all, it's we, it's not I. And we'll go away when people no longer sleep in doorways. We'll go away when people no longer sleep in cars and under bridges. We'll go away when people who abuse substances are treated as human beings and given treatment on demand. It's a health care issue, damn it. We'll go away when you tear down the shelter industrial complex and build safe, affordable housing with decent jobs, we'll go away when attacking homeless people is made a hate crime. We'll go away when youth are allowed to live as youth and not forced it by the streets to find a way to survive. Until then, we will be right here. There are more of us than there are of you. We are the Poor People's Campaign, we are the National Union of the Homeless, and we will rise.